hi everyone welcome back to the channel uh, today we are diving into a fundamental step in building your petrol uh, model uh, inverting wheel data uh, we start with the uh, wheel headers uh, wheel headers define the location of uh, your uh, wheels on the service uh, providing crucial information uh, for your uh, project and we cannot import any wheel data before importing the wheel headers data before we jump uh, in, uh, jump in, uh, let's make uh, sure your data is compatible with Petrel. Uh, your will headers file should include essential parameters like uh, will uh, name, uh, x and y coordinates, and or uh, land, uh, latitude and longitude, and potentially other uh, will specific the, uh, the uh, details now uh, let's organize your project in better uh, go to home uh, tab under insert group uh, click folder and choose new will folder uh, right click this folder and select um, uh, import on selection locate your uh, will header file select the file type Click open. Better will prompt you to choose a coordinate system. Select the one that uh, matches your project. Uh, uh, watch uh, uh, my video uh, how to create a new Petrel project and define the CRS system for uh, details of creating coordinate system. Click OK. Uh, check your data. Use it. Check your data and uh, make sure that uh, this data match with the the file you uh, you you have imported. Uh, and make sure you you have at least uh, one coordinate system uh, defined, either x y or uh, latitude uh, longitude. Uh, well headers open using uh, any text editor compare this file with the uh, import window the data on import window you can delete or add uh, columns to this uh, window And of course, you can also rename the columns and you can uh, define a value to represent missing that uh, data points. Click OK for all. OK for all. Again. Congratulations, you have uh, successfully imported your uh, well header uh, data into Petrel. Now you can uh, visualize uh, these uh, wheels in uh, various ways like uh, 2D window or uh, 3D window. This helps as you see and you can uh, Visualize this in the 3D window also. The so next step to import uh, uh, deviation data in the same way. And select, we select the file type, we'll pass uh, 
deviation ASCII file click open and verify that each wheel is match uh, with the correct deviation file we have a here mismatch we can just check uh, make sure that this will will name it's named in a different way of which so we select the right one and we click uh, okay okay here you can check uh, what what we have what you have uh, imported Check that match with the uh, uh, column number. So major divs uh, at column number one and uh, inclination number nine. Asimus at column number eleven. Make sure that it's uh, this uh, correct and click OK for all. And this way, in this way, you uh, we have successfully imported will pass deviation data in the battery, and you can uh, uh, visualize. We can uh, visualize this on 3D window uh, also. Uh, now, import will completion data in the same way. We we we. We select the uh, file type as uh, wheel tubing data as key file. Click open and in the match uh, file and wheel window, verify that verify that uh, each wheel is matched with the correct deviation file. And edit is if necessary click and click OK. Now we have a conversion data imported and you can visualize them for that uh, for the, and for that we use a wheel selection window. Select the wheels, it's the first one. Select the yeah, conversion data and the third way. You can see that we have this conversion, and but we still need uh, to import uh, the data such as perforation. In the same way, we uh, right click uh, and insert on selection. We select, we choose uh, will event data ASCII as a file type. Here we go. Select the file and click open. In the same way, we match uh, and verify uh, file names and we click OK. We, we have uh, perforation data uh, imported now. Zoom in to clear, clearly see the perforation. We can uh, save our project. Stay tuned for more Petrel tutorial. If you have any question, leave them in uh, the comment below.